Benchmark, the voice of business. Presented by LMD. this edition of Benchmark, the tea industry is a topic under discussion as we invite the Group Managing Director of Sunshine Holdings, Vish Govinda Swami, to give us his take about issues facing the industry. Then, LMD columnist and market analyst Hasta Premaratna discusses the recent market recovery. And finally, Kiran Etchen, Country Manager of TNS Lanka, analyzes TNS Lanka's nationwide survey on people's expectations of the forthcoming budget. That's the lineup for Benchmark. Sri Lanka is the world's fourth largest producer of tea and in fact the industry is a major foreign exchange earner for Sri Lanka. If you think about it, pure Ceylon tea is the most expensive tea in the world. Now, the liberalization of tea imports that has been proposed by the Tea Exporters Association has caused much debate and of course opinion is divided on whether blending imported teas with our world famous variety of brew should or shouldn't be done. In our studios today is Vish Govinda Sami, the Group Managing Director of Sunshine Holdings, who will offer his views not only on this, but other issues facing the tea industry today. <laughs> Welcome to Benchmark, Vish, good to have you on the show and also to discuss the status of the tea industry. Now, Thank much you. has been said about the dilution of pure Ceylon tea. What are your views about it? Yes, much has been said about the dilution of pure Ceylon tea. In my opinion, I don't think there is any dilution of Ceylon tea. As you know, we produce over 330 million kilos of the finest teas in the world, and uh, we export every bit of it. So I don't think there is any dilution of pure Ceylon tea. People still like Ceylon tea very much. Maybe it's not spoken about that much, and the brands of teas are spoken about than Ceylon tea itself. Uh, but those brands obviously choose to buy the Ceylon tea for whatever it's worth, for its flavor, for its aroma, for its quality. Um, I think so there is, in my opinion, there is no such dilution of pure Ceylon tea. Now, Vish, taking off from that, the Tea Exporters Association argues that blending imported varieties with our locally produced tea could strengthen our market presence by way of higher volumes, but by doing so, are we actually compromising our quality or do you think there's a win-win situation here? From a producer's point of view, uh, me being one of the producers of this country, uh, yes, it will have some effect if it is not controlled and done properly. What we are advocating is while there is enough demand for Ceylon tea that we don't necessarily have to bring in cheaper quality teas. And I think the exporters also understand that. So we need to find a compromising uh, period where uh, we allow the exporters to bring in a teas that can value add to the pure Ceylon tea. I think that's the place that we need to get to. It's a difficult uh, discussion. I think uh, Ceylon tea will get to that position eventually. But at right now, uh, we the producers feel there is enough Ceylon tea to go around and Ceylon tea hasn't lost its uh, glamour. We can uh, market it as Ceylon tea. But on the exporter side, yes, I understand. If we can add value to the uh, tea by way of bringing in quality imported tea and increasing our volume, there is a scope to do that. And we need to debate it and get to a point where we can get to that situation. Now, dry weather has adversely affected our tea supplies quite drastically. So with the winter stock buying commencing shortly in high-end countries, how can we keep pace with global demand, Vish, given that the shortfall in production in Kenya, in Sri Lanka and India at present exceeds something like 43 million kilograms? It's good and bad. Um, Ceylon tea is probably fetching some of the highest prices in a long time because uh, this global shortage. And winter buying will start and yes, there will be a demand. Depending on how long the winter persists, uh, the shortage will really come into place. Otherwise, I think the world's tea doesn't obviously go bigger than what it is. The demand has been the same 
every year. So we should be able to manage. And wish your confidence that pure Ceylon tea can maintain its status? Yes, I'm very confident. And we as a country is not doing enough for that. And that's where the problem is. We haven't done enough for pure Ceylon tea. Uh, there's a move by the government by charging a cess that has been collected over 2 billion rupees in cess money to promote pure Ceylon tea. We are still waiting for that promotion to begin. And an um, opportune to see whether that type of uh, advertising and marketing of Ceylon tea will put us back on the world map as the best producers of tea. We pause for a commercial break now, but we'll be back with Vishko Vindasamy, who talks about the government's proposal to reduce production costs, the Tea Exporters Association's plans to withdraw its membership of the UK Tea Council, and also the state of the tea industry's labor force and its wage levels. So much coming up. Stay with us.